Great. Outside, we saw hundreds of elves. As our train drew closer to the center of the North Pole, we slowed to a crawl. So proud were the streets with Santa's helpers. When the Polar Express could go no farther, we stopped and the conductor led us outside. As soon as we were back inside the Polar Express, the other children asked if we could to see the bell. I reached into my pocket, but the only thing I heard was a I had lost the silver bell from Santa Claus's sled. What was that maneuver? <laughs> it doesn't matter. You never walked in front of the camera. It was a magical sound like nothing I'd ever heard. Across the circle, the elves moved apart and Santa appeared. The elves cheered wildly. He smacked over to us and pointing to me said, It's right there. It's not him because I took Yuriani's place. Yeah. Let's have this fellow here. This Tate, you are number six. Yeah, so I got right. He jumped into a sled. The conductor handed me up. I sat on Santa's knee and he asked. Hello. Who is next? What? I yelled at. No. No. Wait. We were in a different room. I knew that I could have any gift I could imagine, but the thing that I wanted most for Christmas was not inside Santa's giant bag. What I wanted more than anything was one of those silver bells from Santa's sled. When I asked Santa smiled, then he gave me a hug and told an elf to cut a bell from the re a reindeer's harness. The elf tossed it up to Santa and stood holding the bell high above him and pulled out. The first gift of Christmas. As soon as we were back inside the Polar Express, the other children asked me to see the bell. I reached into my pocket, but the only there, only there I felt was the pole. I had lost the silver bell from Santa Claus. Let's hurry outside and look for it. One of the children said, but the, ch the train gave a sudden lurch and started moving. We're on our way home. It broke my heart to lose the bell. When the train reached my house, I sadly left, left the, left the it children. I stood at my doorway and waved goodbye. The conductor yelled something from the moving train, but I couldn't hear him. What? I yelled at him. He cupped his hand around his mouth. Merry Christmas! The Polar Express let out a loud blast from its whistle and sped away. On Christmas morning, my little sister Sarah and I opened our presents when it looked as if every, everything had been unwrapped. Sarah found one last small box behind the tree. It had my name on it. Inside of it was the silver bell. There was a note on it. Found this on my sleigh. See, see it on my sleigh. Fix that hole in your pocket, Miss Claus.
I shook the bell and it made the most beautiful uh, and it made the most beautiful sound. My miss, my sister had never heard, but my mother said, "Oh, that's too bad." Yes, it's broken," said my father. Next. Oh, next someone. Oh, someone's calling. Wait, is it on seven? 